salmon caviar, chocolate-covered strawberries, and tiny vegetarian tacos are a few of the many items on the menu for this year's Oscars Governor's Ball. The Oscars might not be ready, but we are. I'm Melody Wintel, and I'm here on the fifth floor of the Dolby Theater where stars like Remy Malley, Christian Bale, and the Stone will be partying on Oscars Sunday. Come follow me and we'll see uh, what they're going to eat. Every year, the Academy hosts an exclusive party where only the nominees and their guests are invited to attend. The evening is filled with high-quality fancy food created by Wolfgang Puck. Celebrating his 25th year with the Academy, the celebrity chef tells us a little bit about the old days when the winners used to party at Spago after the ceremony. I remember the last parties we had with Swifty Lazar at Spago, which were amazing with all the old stars and the new stars. We had, for example, uh, Jimmy Stewart, Cary Grant, Elizabeth Taylor, Gene Kelly, you name them, plus the young stars at that time like Madonna and Michael Jackson and uh, Tony Depp. They were all like kids at that time. On top of the waju beef that will be served that evening, Piper Heidsick offers their limited edition champagne. Francis Ford Coppola Winery animated their label to step up their game from last year's unique design. Mixologist Charles Jolie created six different signature drinks, including a non-alcoholic option. We create a full menu with different flavor profiles because we know that there's a lot of different tastes walking in the room. And so something for everyone, is, and that's the goal. We want to make sure that no one walks up to our bar and walks away empty-handed. The cocktails are decorated with orange peels, hibiscus, flowers, and let's not forget, the paper straws. You've seen the food, you've seen the desserts, and you've seen the drinks. Now let's see who wins on Oscar Sunday. This is Melody Waintall.